Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to perform a reprojection in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So in remote sensing and GIS environment, we change the projection for various reasons to change the projection of the image. So for example, if you want to perform a groundwater potential zonation map, we generally uh, use an overlay analysis. So uh, to perform an overlay analysis, we require it our projection to be in a different format. Also, when you have a multiple data, an input for a model, so suppose if you have a multiple data as an input as a model, for example, so to perform a consistent analysis, so we, requ we require a consistent uh, projection to perform some analysis using models in this image. So you need to reproject your every layer into a certain projection so there is a multiple reason why we need to reproject our uh, projection in order to perform some analysis we required all of our layer to be in single projection so in that case uh, we required to use a reprojection as a tool uh, reprojection as a tool to uh, convert the projection convert all the layers to a, a single projection to perform any to perform any analysis so in Google Earth Engine, we have our uh, reprojection function to perform a reprojection for our layer or our uh, for any data. So now let us uh, reproject our modus that is our satellite image. So let's get started. To reproject our uh, the modus that is our satellite image, let us first define. Uh, let's first import our country boundary layer into Google Earth Engine. So, to uh, how to get a feature collection with country boundary? So, suppose if you want to import your country boundary into Google Earth Engine, we are specifically using this code double dot feature collection United States of uh, United States of Department of State large scale simple uh, large scale international large, uh, large scale uh, international boundary polygon simple 2017. Now, let me show you that. So this is our large scale international boundary polygon simplified uh, data set is uh, provided by United States Department of State Office of uh, Office of Geographer and this is a code we are using to import our uh, the large scale international boundary polygon into our Google Earth Engine. So for that I defined a variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection United States of Department of State large scale international boundary polygon symbol 2017. So I'm specifically uh, I'm specifically uh, filtering the country called Egypt. So this is a layer for world level. Uh, this is for entire world level country boundary polygon. So it is a world level country boundary polygon. In that I'm specifically uh, filtering Egypt. So to, for by filtering, for specifically filter the Egypt, I define a variable Egypt equals to countries dot filter double e dot filter the dot eq country referring to egypt so next is uh, let us uh, input our modus satellite image into google earth engine so input image has a sinusoidal projection so we are going to reprojection in our next step i will show in the next step so first let us uh, import our modus satellite image into google earth engine which have which has a default projection of sinusoidal so to import our modus image into Google Earth Engine, I have defined a variable called image equals to double e dot image modus 006 mod mod 13a1 2017 uh, January 17. We are specifically using this code to import our modus data into Google Earth Engine and select dot, uh, dot select zero dot clip. We are clipping by our uh, our study area Egypt. And next is we are going to print and defining the raw projection output as a raw projection and uh, image dot image refers to the server modus image the variable image dot projection. So now uh, let us run this code and uh, let us see the projection details of this modus satellite image. So now let me uh, run this go to the option called run script click run. So now you can be able to see in the console section, we have our raw projection details, that is our modus image projection details. 
So let me open the type is projection and uh, coordinate system is uh, sinusoidal 6974. Uh, so this is our modus sinusoidal uh, projection. So now uh, let us reproject this. Uh, that is our modus image. So to apply our reprojection, that is to convert from converting from a sinusoidal projection to EPSG4326 projection. So to uh, reproject, we define a variable called reprojected equals to image. The image refers to our modis image, the variable image that is our modis image. And our unit scale is we defined minus 2000 and 10,000. And dot reproject, we are specifically defining this coordinate system that is EPSG 4326. Now let me show you that. So EPSG 4326 projection. So it refers to WGS 1984 datum. That is a world geo geodetic system 1984. So that is refers to our EPSG 4326. So we define null and uh, with uh, the unit scale of 500 uh, 500 meters and finally to uh, output our uh, reprojected uh, we define to output uh, we define a print reprojected output as reprojected and uh, reprojected this refers to our variable reprojected dot projection so using this we can using applying this code we can able to change our uh, projection from sinusoidal to and uh, EPSG 4326 that is our WGS 1984 so let me uh, go to the option and uh, let me run this run script so you can able to see that this is our uh, first uh, this is this is our raw projection that is modis projection that is in sinusoidal projection and uh, 6974 and I've reprojected is uh, it is of EPSG 4326 so current projection is uh, we have reprojected to EPSG 4326. Let me show you once again. So EP uh, EPSG 4326 projection. It refers to WGS that is our WGS 1984 datum and uh, describes our latitude and longitude coordinate. So now let us uh, define our visualization parameter and display our layers. That is our reprojected layer and our draw layer. That is our uh, the, our modus satellite image uh, sinusoidal projection. So to define, let us uh, to define a visualization parameter. I had defined a variable called this param equals to with a minimum value of 0.15 and a maximum value of 0.7. Now to uh, add our layer into Google Earth Engine, I have defined map dot add layer. So this is our reprojected layer. That is our EPSG 4326. So map dot add layer reprojected, comma vis para that is refers to our visualization parameters and output as reprojected image. And our next layer it will be our raw raw layer that is our raw image. Uh, that is our modus image raw modus image. This is a reprojected modus and this is our raw image raw modus. So to uh, output this layer, to add this layer into Google Earth Engine, I have defined map dot add layer image, and this curly brayer, this uh, this refers to a default visualization parameter, and output as a raw image. And to center our uh, to center uh, our layer and set to a correct zoom level, I have defined map dot center object edit with a zoom level of six. So now let us run this code. Go to the option called run, run script. So we have our two layers. One is a, one is our raw image. So this is a raw image, and next one is our reprojected image. So this is our reprojected image. So now we can able to view that we have two layers. One is our raw image and the other is our reprojected. The raw image was in a sinusoidal projection. 
let us let me show you that the raw image raw projection it is in the sinusoidal projection and our reprojected layer so that is an EPSG 4326 projection let me show you that so we have our two layers one is our raw projection and one is our reprojected so we have converted from a raw your raw projection a sinusoidal projection to our EPSG projection 4326 that is our WGS 1984-1984 projection so in this video I have shown you uh, how to uh, reproject our uh, raw image to uh, that is from one uh, projection system to another projection system and uh, let me show you so we have seen how to import our world uh, that is our large scale international boundary polygon that is our country boundary polygon into google earth engine and how to load a modi satellite image into google earth engine and how to apply a reprojection that is we have uh, reprojected from sinusoidal to epsg 4326 that is our 1984 wgs 1984 and thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel terra spatial and give us a like